It's not a love story. Nerd Burgers. The moon basked all of Equestria in a pale blue light, stars above glimmering like diamonds on this especially lazy night of peace. Not a pony could be seen on the streets of Canterlot, as only a select few shops were open. The Hayburger, one such shop, within the barn-like structure sat a single pony near the far right of the restaurant. She was dressed in a bright pink hoodie and casually sipped on a Giga Gulp, a cream-colored waitress cantering over with a polite smile. Are you ready to order, ma'am? She spoke in a melodic tune, holding a tiny notebook at her side with yellow unicorn magic. Sure, I'll have two number nines, a number nine large, a number six with extra dip, a number seven, two number forty-fives, one with cheese, and another Giga Gulp. The pony's tiny black muzzle flashed a sheepish grin. Um, coming right up. The waitress backed away slowly in utter shock. The front door swung open as Shining Armor trotted inside, his gaze that of a constipated yak. He was dressed in an oversized beige cloak, hiding away his features from all prying eyes. The pink-coated pony waving at him over, her dark black hoof covered in multiple holes. Chrissy, is that you? Shining inch closer with uncertainty. I don't know. Are you Mr. Dark? Chrysalis giggled sarcastically behind her own hood. <sighs> Laugh it up. It's dangerous to meet in crowded places. Shining sighed, plopping down on the opposite side of the booth. <gasps> it is! Shining Armor is meeting with a changeling! The utter madness of it all! Chrysalis then swung both hooves high into the air wildly, her voice booming. Are you insane? Shining snapped in a panic, head darting around the completely empty room. Dude, chill! This place is absolutely dead! Chrysalis rolled her dark green eyes. <sighs> you can never be too careful. Shining narrowed his ocean blue eyes to his friend. Hmm... Well, you weren't too careful when we met at Talarp. Chrysalis snorted out loud. Uh, how was I supposed to know that ad was from a changeling queen? Shining seemed to relax a bit more in his seat. Bug-loving pony in search of changes, looking for a LARP partner to explore the Power Pony universe. Yeah, sounds totally mysterious. Chrysalis blew a tiny raspberry playfully. Uh, at the time it was. So, how's the hive? Shining cleared his throat to change the subject. Well, we're still regrouping after the whole invasion thing. Chrysalis scrunched her muzzle cutely. That bad, huh? Shining could feel sweat trickling down his forehead. Each day's a bit harder, but we manage. She flaunted her hoof in place dismissively. Shining couldn't help himself but feel uneasy about this blooming relationship. She was a former villain, after all, that tried to take over the Crystal Kingdom. So, uh, any plans after the repairs? He swallowed a lump growing in his throat. He knew these meetings were taboo, yet he couldn't stop himself from searching them out. So, are we gonna strike again out of revenge? Chrysalis arched a thin brow across the table. No, no, no. Uh, yes. He felt his cheeks burn a bright red. Can't say I was on my mind when being flung into the horizon by a love explosion. Chrysalis licked her lips slowly, searching her mind for the right words. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Shining snorted, sheepishly. But, after getting to know you from, what, seven meetings? She spoke in a genuine tone of voice. Nine, actually. Shining spoke up, playfully. Well, ponies are... sort of cool, I suppose. Chrysalis flashed a sly smirk in return. Oh, you're being honest, aren't you? Shining smiled, his hoof gently resting atop his new friend's hoof. Da, dork! Chrysalis pulled away just as her order was being pulled out into the open by a large trolley. Are you hungry there? Shining burst into a howl of laughter behind his cloak. Oh, absolutely. I rarely get to eat what I want. My 400 children usually dictate over the meal plans. Chrysalis slowly turned her head to see the shocked waitress gawking. Yeah, this figure is all mine. Chrysalis wiggled her hips in place playfully. I'll just take some water. Shining shook his head, laughing, the waitress trotting off in uncertain silence of what exactly was going on. <sighs> this place has the best burgers! Chrysalis lowered her head into the bounty of food on the table, lifting upward with a red muzzle covered in ketchup. <laughs> don't you eat love? Shining chuckled quizzically. You ponies like friendship, but don't shrivel up without it! Chrysalis smacked her jaws slowly in deep thought. Love is delicious to have, but we do like other things. 
she used her long, slimy tongue to clean off her cheek. <laughs> really? So, do your kids have a favorite? Shining poked fun at the queen, smirking. <laughs> Wise ass. I think 72 of them like fruit, but I'm honestly not sure. Chrysalis pursed her lips as her friend chuckled it up across the booth. So, for our next session, I was thinking of a humdrum and radiant saga. Shining reached into his cloak, removing a chunky book of roleplay ideas. <sighs> Boring. I just finished my maniac costume. Chrysalis quickly chirped, as the stallion gasped in a shocked horse noise. You're fucking kidding! He nearly bounced out of his seat in excitement. Nope. It's time for the origin story arc. She squealed in excitement, Maniac's backstory her absolute favorite series of comics ever. The waitress slowly inched her way back to the table with water in tow, Shining opening his book to jot down a few fleeting ideas for their upcoming sessions. Oh, this is going to be amazing. Now I just need to find an abandoned vat to dunk you in. The glass of water slowly being placed in front of him. Are you a terrorist? The waitress blurted out in a shaken voice to the two cloaked ponies. Worse. We're zombie terrorists! Chrysalis pulled down her hood, revealing a rotted pony corpse with no mane and an open eye socket overflowing with maggots. The waitress then screamed in absolute terror, trying to run away, tripping over her own hooves before crashing to the floor with a loud thud. Her head popped against the floor hard, the poor mare knocked out cold in a matter of seconds. Bouncy Buffet, is everything okay out there? A stallion's voice rang out from the kitchen worriedly. Yes, boss, just dropped a darn plate. Chrysalis mimicked the waitress's voice perfectly in reply. Shining lowered his hood, glaring to the changeling for such a mean-spirited joke. Was that really called for? He pursed both lips sternly in dissatisfaction, Chrysalis returning to normal in a fiery flash of light. No, but it was fun. She shrugged quickly, stuffing a whole burger into her mouth. Mm. Besides, now the meal is free. She stuffed the remaining amount of food deep into her hoodie. Chrissy! Shining snapped as a sense of honor kicked in. Ah, uh, fine! Half off! Chrysalis grumbled and tossed a few mossy bits onto the table. Shining quickly chugged his water down in a flash, jumping out of the booth while pocketing his book safely against his chest. We should go before this undoubtedly gets out of hoof. He chuckled, galloping towards the door. Absolutely. Chrysalis followed after him, stopping to mug a bag of bits from the unconscious unicorn on the floor. Outside, Shining stood under the protective glow of the moon, his thoughts locked onto Chrysalis, and the odd feeling of friendship that he felt with her. Whenever he tried to share his passions with Cadence, she'd zone out or simply pick up a book and nod along. But with Chrissy, it was completely different. She'd share her own theories on the subject, talk about her cosplays, or gush over new figures that she'd acquired. He had been uncertain about this odd bug at first, but after ten meetings without an incident, he didn't think she was so much a psychopath, but just a plain old nerd. Twilight always spoke of redemption of the wicked. Perhaps this was his chance to prove her words correct. By forgiving the past and moving forward with confidence, Chrysalis soon had decide, her face hidden from the world. Same time next week? She chirped with a cricket-like melody. I trust you, Chrissy. Shining felt the words escape his muzzle. Guess this would be a horrible time to mug you then. She flashed a fangy grin. Seriously, I see you as a friend. Shining turned to face the adorable bug, lowering her hood gently with his hoof. Um... She tilted her head, confused. I'd be honored if you want to visit the palace. Shining gave his goofy a smile. Uh, to be arrested? Chrysalis bluntly replied. Uh, no, to just hang out. Shining then slapped his forehead. Okay? Chrysalis quickly pulled her hood back up. Seriously. Just know I'm not ashamed of you. He placed his hoof on her shoulder. Chrysalis quickly pulled away, darting off towards the horizon, spinning around to wave goodbye in a rather flustered state. Uh, I know. Dork. She giggled, soon vanishing into the night. Shining stood on the empty street alone. He could tell that she was frightened of change, a fear that he prayed that he could lift from her heart. No pony deserved to be cast away. No pony. Chrysalis as a dork is absolutely fucking adorable. Anyway, I'd love to give a very special thank you to my adorable donators. Top donator, Dash of Evergreen, Peter Coldhard, Dospo, RuneScythe9852, Courier Cruz CI, Delta Omega, Ryanie Dragonwolf, Gaggy, 
Secret Moon, Tall Russia, The Toilet Snake, Soul Dragon, Starlight Glimmer, Squiddy Boy, David D. Sanchez, Trey, Dak Britton, Joe Piercy, Alex F., Rainbow Dash, James Dalton, TLK Anderson, and TV Killer. Thank you all very much for watching this video, and live life to the fullest.